Hello. Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How, how are, are you? You okay? Very sorry about today. It's a, uh, it's a pleasure. It was a, it was a bit of a confusion with the dates. No, dates, it's no yeah. problem at all. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to sit and so, for the so first have you time. Seen this is the first time? First time. Oh, cool. Well, wow. I'll have a look. It's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's come out okay. <laughs> wow. This is so amazing. Honestly, even the detail from the stitching of the gloves. Well, as you know, that's one of the most important things. I know, it, right? It, it, he was always uh, the glove and the stitching on the outside. The boots. Uh, the They're difficult to get hold of. <laughs> they are, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. The Diadora boots. I had uh, a few of these. They're super comfortable. Not very, not very legal to wear anymore. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. The, spe the specifications are not uh, there. Oh, man. He, the, I have to say that the, he must have really strong abs now, though. I, I could not walk for days because I had to hold this position for three minutes, five or six times. Really? And the, the hip flexors there. Yeah, it was, uh, how, it, was, it was a good how, challenge. How did you um, model it? So instead of 3D scanning, because you can't really 3D scan anything in this size, mm. you can only, only small blocks of detail, Yeah. Um, it was uh, 400 photos stitched together to create the 3D model. Um, and even from there it took 12 weeks to get to get the 3D model to be able to 3D print. And then again, you can only 3D print sections like yeah, like that yeah. big, so so it's thirty five sections I think it was stuck together. Wow! And then you create a, a clay version, then a wax version. <laughs> so it's, it's simple stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm lucky to be working with some amazing people. I tell you, it, the the dynamics, the the whole way that the statue is so natural. It's, it's fantastic, really, really Perfect. is fantastic. And when you're in the car, you know that this is really close to what you're, what you are doing. You know that the, there's always very little clearance between the legs and the yeah. hands and the sure. elbows. Yeah. So. Uh, Which I mean, half of that I guessed. Um, half of it I consulted a few drivers like Jensen and right. David Brabham. And um, one of the things Jensen picked me up on was uh, that the heels have to be completely level. So almost. Yes. Everything else is out of line apart from the heels. Yeah, because they're both on the on the yeah. on the bottom of the monocle. Yeah, this is so, awesome. So it was really important to me to, to get that right and to get that dynamic and the twist. And I mean, I haven't I've never been in an F1 car, obviously, but I've been in some Super GT cars and been thrown around a bit. And like, ah, uh, okay. That's how it feels like. Yeah, a bit more violent than I imagined. Yeah. And this reminds me so much of that image they have from him at Monaco. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. you know when the the, the 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 camera is like on board pointing up. Yeah. That's that's a real. Well, some uh, incredible footage. Fantastic. And I used a genuine base suit as well. I got them from OMP, so that's how we got the logos all in the right place and the stitching and. Yeah. Now the the level of the the detail and also the. Um, Sort of the feel that it gets, you know, when you when you see normally statues like this, it's so hard to get the, the textures and not the, the feeling, even like the reflections on the yeah. on the, on the helmet. Well, exactly. Halfway through, we decided to put some stripes down the yeah. visor to because it, it just looked too solid. Yes, it's the only transparent bit of the whole thing. Yes, and it looked too solid when it was smooth. Yeah, when you got the um, reflection, you, you nailed it. Yeah, I mean, it's how I paint because I. I don't know if you know, I normally paint yeah. portraits rather than sculpt, so and that's how I would paint a visor. This things like these, these ripples here, you can't, you can't fake that. I mean, because it would have been easy to dress a mannequin up, Yeah. but it wouldn't have looked Natural, real. Yeah. yeah. Even the, the joints and everything, you can see the joint on the, on the wrist and the, and the hands and also the ankle, all the joints are. This is full throttle. It, it's the only <laughs> way, isn't it? But because I would have loved to uh, have, have put you in the 3D modeler, but but you're a little bit too tall. Yes, I am too tall. Um, it would be nice to have the standard DNA. I tried to uh, to I did something for my sister once when I was wearing the race suit. Yeah. But because I'm tall, the wrist was really stretched. Yeah. So it doesn't look yeah. anything like I. Yeah. So it was. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a shame. But so I had to lose a bit of weight. <laughs> was a low but carb diet for a few months. If you're staying like in this position for a few yeah. hours per day, then you you probably end up uh, losing some weight. Yeah. Well, the problem was because I was trying to hold that position, then you start shaking, and then it would throw all the cameras out, so we'd have to do it again. 
and so so over, over three days. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I, I will uh, tell you that posing is probably not something that I was born for. So no, <laughs> me, me neither. It's a good job that I had the helmet on. In fact, halfway actually, that's another thing I haven't mentioned to anybody. So halfway through, because I was getting so hot, I had to take the helmet off. Yeah. And then we scanned the helmet separately because. It's, I was just melting. It's incredible how just staying in one position yeah. makes you feel so hot, yeah. right? How many of these have you made? Uh, so at the moment, this is the only life size. There will be three right. representing world titles. Right, right, uh, right. So two have sold. And then the third one is going on a European tour, effectively. So it's going to Barcelona, hopefully Monaco, back to Silverstone. Uh, and then there's going to be 41 wind tunnel size, so a meter long. Right, right. And uh, Bianca and the Institute are having a couple of those to That's to amazing. as well. So. That's amazing. Amazing stuff. And it's, uh, the, the reaction's been unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I knew it was cool, but you can't, you no, can't assume is, that everybody else... You're being modest. Time. This is far beyond cool. It's a real proper work of art. Really amazing. Well, thank you. That, the, that means a lot for me. The whole, the whole uh, when you look at, just at it, just from outside, it's amazing, but when you start looking at the detail, it's even more impressive. Like you got the, the shoelaces, all the texture from the shoelaces, and also the, the leather. It's not leather; it's like a yeah. like a Alcantara type yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, to try and show the different textures, and, yeah. and again the, the, the stitching, it, it, it's, exactly. it's iconic. Exactly. It, it's the white stitching on the red uh, suit. Yeah, honestly, it's um, congratulations. No. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. That means a lot. Wow. Very, very 